Hello and welcome to your daily love message from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in the beautiful divine masculine love and desire outburst today by our amazing soul sister Sandra Cole from World Illuminator 11. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So let's use this deck and see what they want to outburst to you. What's their desire today? What do they want to share with you I really do feel they're repressing so much emotion and desire, it's about to explode. And it is the new moon today as well. Lots of things are manifesting and changing. And this is really happening to bring you together between now and the holidays. And I spoke about that in the reading earlier today. So what do they want to say to you today? What's on their mind? What do they want to share with you? One card jumping straight out, there's still more though. What else do they want to say to you? What do they want you to know? Look at that jump straight out powerful so that's the first card these are clarifiers and this card sticking out still feel there's a couple more still guiding me to carry on shuffling i feel they've just kind of come out in in bursts so it's like each card is leading to the next one and that's the messages so the first card that i feel is the most important one here is this yeah it's always been you that's what they want you to know it's always been you and i can't help that i can't help the way i feel which means they can't deny it. They can try, they can distract themselves, they can be with a karmic partner, they can use alcohol to numb what they're going through, they can act like they don't care, they can pretend they're wearing a mask on social media, whatever they're doing, but they can't help the way that they feel. They can never run from that truth because they feel it deep inside of themselves. And what they are recognizing more and more is that it's always been you, always. From the moment they were born, they've been searching for you. It's always been you. I can't help the way I feel. Next message is, despite all the obstacles. Despite all the obstacles, they can't help the way they feel. So the message is, no matter what's in the way of this love, it will find its way. Despite all the obstacles, despite all the challenges that we face, which means you're both facing challenges, you're both facing obstacles, nothing can ever get in the way of the love that we feel for each other. So it's so important you understand that's what they are letting you know today. They feel the love and you may be sending that love to them and they are feeling it. They want you to know they feel it. No matter what's going on, what challenges you face, whatever seems to be in the way, nothing can stop the way you feel. The way we feel for each other is real. I can't help the way I feel. I know it's always been you. Isn't that powerful? And I desire doing the rest of my life with you. So they are saying to you, that's what their desire is. If you could say, right, what's their intention? What do they dream about? What do they fantasize about? What do they think about? It's been with you for the rest of their life. They deeply desire that. That means it comes from deep within them. They may try and forget it. They may try and pretend they're not thinking that, but they are always feeling that. No matter what they are thinking, they are always feeling. And they deeply desire you all the way down into their soul. I want to do the rest of my life with you. And I want to do the rest of my life with only you, which is another sign of commitment, marriage, and making that sacred bond with each other. Letting everybody know that you are one, which you are. You are everything I desire in a partner. So they want you to know that. So don't ever feel like you're doing something wrong or there's something wrong with you because you are everything they desire. And you're everything they desire in a partner, which means that you behave the right way. Don't ever feel like you've done something wrong or you've made mistakes because everything you've been through, you've learned from. Every mistake is a lesson. It's a lesson that leads to a blessing. So if you're thinking, I wish I'd have done this or that, and that may have made him a worse stay, then think again. Everything you did had purpose and value. And they need to heal themselves just like you need to heal yourself. So you are everything that they desire in a partner. No one can take that away. So if they were the karmic partner, you're the one they desire. They wish it was you. You are everything I desire in a partner, which means you're going to have the perfect life together when you come together. I will surprise you when you least expect it. So this is a definite sign of when the communication will come or when the union will happen. Or when they'll knock on your door or send you that message. Because it will be when you least expect it. 
And the way you get into that energy is by being excited about your life, living your life to the full, doing things in your own life that you can kind of forget about what they're doing. I'm not saying you distract themselves or, you know, you distract yourself the way they do. This is about you loving life, thinking, right, I'm going to do me today. I'm going to enjoy life today. I'm going to do this, that, whatever you're doing. And then you're taking your energy away from them. And that's when they're going to reach out because it will be unexpected. So you may be doing something completely different and all of a sudden your phone pings and you're like, ah, the message and I wasn't even thinking about it. Or the doorbell goes and you're like, oh, you open the door and there they are and you weren't expecting it. And they intend to surprise you with something wonderful. They want to bring that in. So a surprise could also be a gift or an offer. Or something they want to share with you, some good news. It's going to come in when you least expect it. And I definitely feel this also message about the coming holiday season. Thanksgiving, Christmas time, New Year. So this could also be a huge sign that they intend to surprise you with a gift when you least expect it. Or they want to spend some time with you when you least expect it. So I am getting this message coming through today that I need to share about the holidays. So if you haven't already seen it, go and watch the earlier video because that's what I talk about there. And they are saying to you, I'm sorting out my life so I can be with you. So this means dealing with their finances or sorting out their karmic situation or sorting out their job or sorting out their addictions or their codependent behavior or healing their insecurities, or dealing with their core wounds. They are sorting out what they need to sort out so they can be with you. That's what they want. That's what they dream about. That's what they fantasize about. That's what they desire. That's why they are saying to you, deeply, I want that connection. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. You are the partner I desire. You are everything I could ever want. But I need to sort out my life first so I can be with you the right way. So this is also the way they are coming to you with an honorable path. They don't want to mess you about. They don't want to have an affair with you. They don't want to hurt you anymore. They don't want to say one thing and then seem to be doing another. They want to take the honoring path to you. And that's why they are sorting out their life first so they can be with you. And nothing and nobody can truly keep us away from each other. And that's what you're being reminded. Nothing and nobody, no job, no person, no karmic partner, no family member, even things like their children, nothing can stop you from being together. Because you might think, oh, well, he's got to wait until his children grows up or he needs to do this or that first. Nothing and nobody can truly keep you away from each other. Why? Because you are already one. You live within them, they live within you. You are already inside of each other. And that means that you are never away from each other. Physical distance and separation is merely illusion. And on this journey anyway, we have to learn to connect in a higher way. It's not just about being in a relationship. It's not just about having that physical commitment or that physical connection. It's about connecting spiritually too. It's about what you feel. And that's why at the beginning, your person is saying to you, I can't help the way I feel. It's always been you. I can't get you off my mind despite all the obstacles, no matter what the challenge is, no matter what we face, nothing and no one can stop this love. No one can ever get in the way of the love that we feel because we feel it and it's real. I have that love for you. You have that love for me. I have that desire for you and you have that desire for me. You want to be with me and I want to be with you. It's all reciprocated. Sometimes it's hidden. Sometimes it's distracted from. Sometimes they pretend they don't care and they seem cool and cruel, but they can't escape the way that they feel for you. And you can tell that by their body language. You can tell that by their eyes. You can tell that by connecting with their energy. Because you are an energetic being, you are a spiritual being having a human experience, which means you're able to experience energy. So you know you can feel energy, you feel energy when someone is lying to you. You feel the energy if someone is being kind to you. You feel the energy if something feels off to you. You have an inner guidance system, that's your solar plexus, that's your intuition, your gut. So you feel what they feel, you are one. So you feel it when you're together, whether that's together physically, together online, together in a dream, together in meditation, together in the 5D, you feel the truth. 
It's only the ego that causes the problems. So move beyond the ego today. Focus on the love and you'll feel the feeling. And that's what you need to know. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.